Hey guys, it's Julian from the Bite the Bait Fishing Channel. Today you're watching a video about unboxing a Bass Pro Shop processing table kit. I picked up this table on Black Friday for a really good deal. I believe it was around $59.99. Um, they usually sell a fillet table for around $100. It looks the same exact one. Um, but anyways, keep a lookout for these. It's a really good deal. First product that we're opening out of the box is the knife sharpener. Really cool, has a coarse, a middle, and a fine uh, sharpening section in it. Really nice handle to it right there. We have two fillet knives and a fillet glove and an order, order bar. I have no idea what the order bar is for. Maybe you guys can tell me. So on the table right here, you see all the pieces that come with the table. Um, you can connect a hose to it so you can run water through it while you're filleting the fish. Um, I'm not going to show the installation here of all those things because it did drag on a while. It took about 12 minutes to do the whole install, but it's pretty simple. You just follow the steps and put it together, and then you can set up the table somewhere outside with a hose so you can just clean up your fish outside. So right here, this is my catch from the weekend before. We went out uh, to the Patch Reef out in Key Largo, caught a couple of yellowtail, caught a couple of mutton snapper, um, some bonito. But anyways, this is what I brought home for myself. I uh, had six yellowtails. I'm going to show you how the tools that this filleting station came with actually work. So... Right here, I believe I'm using the 7-inch fillet knife. It's the smaller knife that the kit comes with. Um, I'm just going to go and cut right down the side of the fish right there, right down the gills and down the fin. As you can see, knife slides right through. Really clean cut. Pretty easy fish to fillet, you'll see. And then we're going to, right now we're going to run it across the top fins. Just want to slide the knife through, just edging it along. Try to get the most off the bones as you can off the fish. Nice thing about the gloves is that it keeps you from getting cut. Gives you a good grip on the fish. So you see the knife is going right through. It's actually, you could even see it from the bottom of the fish's, uh, from the fish's side. So you can see there. Just cleaning it up some more. Going along the, all around the <clears throat> skeleton right there. Cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. Pretty nice. The knife was actually pretty good. A great thing about the kit is that it does bring the sharpener. So I would recommend after every fish probably resharpening it. You know, it's going to just make it easier for you down the line just cutting the fish. Um, keeping the knife nice and sharp. Going to go down the side there, down the bottom to finish the fillet. Just a little bit more, a little bit more going through. Running it down. Almost there. This is my first time really filleting a fish by myself, so don't judge. Not a professional at this at all. But I do believe it came out pretty good, as you can tell. There's a lot of bones left there with not a lot of meat left. And it is a smaller fish. Usually smaller fish are a little bit harder to, to get the fillets out of. So there you go. Just flipped it over. Got all the meat left on the skin. Going to just fi finally cut that last little piece off the rib cage. There you go, you see the fish, the guts, everything is still on the fish itself. You got your nice little fillet right there. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the tip of the end of the fish and just gradually slide your knife right down. And there you go, see? A good fillet knife, you know, when you have it nice and sharp, it should go right across the skin and clean the fillet right off. You don't have to do any scaling, any gutting or anything. Right there at the top, though, there was uh, the rib cage was left on the fish, so it was a little bit hard to get it through. But... You just keep working your way through and you get the, the good part of the fillet right off. And that's pretty much it. Right there you're going to see the rest is going to come right off the off the skin. Nice and clean fillet. Um, we ended up air frying these. Came out really tasty. You guys uh, should look into an air fryer. It's definitely a healthier way of uh, cooking your fish, cooking your fried food. Instead of using oil based uh, cooking products, you can just go ahead and air fry them. But this was, a, this was probably the best fillet I got off. It was the biggest yellowtail that I had but definitely nice and clean. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Um, give us a like, a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them underneath. We'll try to describe everything on the description bar below. And once again, this is Julian from the Bite the Bait Fishing Channel. And uh, we'll see you next time.